Come on. Anyway, I digress. Now, uh, somebody earlier mentioned Ryan Garcia. I wanted to talk a little bit about. I wanted to speak a little bit about Ryan Garcia, right? Because he's got his big fight coming up with uh, his big comeback fight, December the second. He's taking on Oscar Duarte. You know, relative unknown to a lot of boxing fans, but a but a big puncher, a dangerous puncher. You know, real stocky, compact. You know, um, Ryan better be careful because if Oscar Duarte hit his ass the wrong way. Ryan Garcia is getting sent back on Instagram. He's gonna have to worry about modeling full time. But Ryan Garcia came out with a with a with a statement today on his Instagram page, and he had some words for his critics and for the people that don't believe he's gonna be a top shelf, top flight, you know, creme of the creme fighter in boxing. He said he stated the following, and I quote: "I am tired of the disrespect. I'm fed up, and I've been at fifty percent for so long. It's going to be different." I promise that to myself. I don't care about anything but becoming a champion. My eyes used to care about what social media. My my eyes used to care about social media and what that did for my career. And now I don't care about that. I am ready to win. So Ryan Garcia, what he's what, what he's essentially telling you guys is that he's not a social media fighter no more. Ryan Garcia ain't with the social media stuff. He's about he's about uh he's all about. His boxing now. And listen, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if that's true. When, when and if Oscar Duarte hits his ass with a, with, with a big ass punch, we're going to see if, if, if Ryan Garcia still wants to be in there because look, um, we know the kid's got talent. I mean, I've seen him up close in person. He's one of the he's one of the most talented boxers I've, I've, I've ever seen in person. Very, very talented kid. He's got speed and reflexes out of this world. Um it's just about putting those things together. Now he's got a lot of bad habits. Derek James is 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 trying to help undo a lot of those bad habits, and those bad habits cannot show up against Oscar Duarte, or he will get knocked the hell out. That being said, I hope he's telling the truth. I hope I hope we get a Ryan Garcia that's 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 one hundred percent all about boxing because I'm not gonna fault the young I'm not gonna fault the young man. I mean, it's, it's listen, if I was in his position. And I had, you know, tens of millions of dollars and I had, you know, beautiful women at, at every turn just throwing themselves at me. I, I probably wouldn't want to be all, all in my boxing either. It'd be very hard. You know, why, 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 why focus 100 percent on boxing when you can make more money outside of boxing and you can just you, you can just go get ass all day. Like that, that, That's the truth. But if this is the case and Ryan Garcia is all about boxing, then it, it's, it's a great sign for the sport. It's a great sign for you know, um, his career. I feel like Ryan Garcia still has a lot of value to give to the sport. You know, he, he helped create one of the biggest events of the year with, with Tank Davis. Um, he's got a big following. Um, and, I, and he's one of the only fighters in this country, in the great U.S. of A. He's one of the only fighters that really has any crossover appeal, any crossover, you know, potential. Because um, we know, we, we know a boxing, right? You could be a world champion. You could you could have all the skills in the world, but if you don't have that, if you don't have something outside the ring that resonates with the audience, you're only going to have but so big a fan base within the realms of hardcore boxing. And Ryan Garcia has a, a big reach. Ryan Garcia performing well and, and, and fighting like a top flight fighter is good for boxing, right? So Ryan Garcia, I want to see him do well. I want to see Ryan Garcia you know, be all he could be because he's also a fun, a, a talented fighter. Um, and I don't think, I don't think we've seen the best of him yet. Right. And, and, I, and I want to see what the best of him would be in the box ring. Now he's in a division at 140. Well, there's some hard fights for him. Um, it starts December 2nd with Oscar Duarte, but you got, you know, obviously Regis, you got Subia Matias, you got Devin Haney in the weight class. You got T. from Lopez who just beat Josh Taylor. Um, it's not going to be easy pickings for him. Um, there's been a lot of rumors. I know my man David, shout out to David. David asked who would win between TF Lopez and Ryan Garcia. That's the fight that, that, that that's the angling for. There's been all these crazy rumors that apparently Ryan and Tio are going to fight. If he beats um, Duarte, of course, there's been all these crazy rumors that Ryan and Tio are going to fight during Su Super Bowl weekend. And if that's the case, and that does happen, that's great for boxing because um, obviously – you know, Ryan and 
T.O. fighting on the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl has a lot of a big audience. If, if you could even get 5% of the audience from the Super Bowl to watch Ryan versus um, T.O., then that's a massive success, and it raises the, the – it raises the profile of both those guys, and it's a win for boxing. Um, I think it's a great fight. You know, T.O. has shown a lot of um, – T.F. Lopez has shown a lot of skills over his career, but he's also been a bit of an up-and-down fighter. One fight, he looks like the best fighter in the world against Lomachenko and Josh Taylor. The next fight, he fights bad against Nakatani, or he fights bad against George Cambosas, or he has a less than stellar performance against Sandra Martin. So – T.F. Lopez needs to find a level of consistency. I think him and Ryan would be a good fight because you got T.O., who's a shorter, more compact, explosive fighter, versus Ryan, a taller, rangier fighter um, who can make some mistakes that 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 um, that Ryan can exploit. Because Ryan, if you guys look, when Ryan when Ryan throws his left hook, right? When Ryan throws his left hook, he drops that he drops that 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 backhand down. So. When you when you throwing when you throwing any punches, you never want to drop your hand, because if I throw a jab and my hand is down, you can counter me. Ryan has his shit all the way down here with his chin in the air like this when he's throwing his hook, and you can't do that. Tio's one of his best punches is the left hook, right? So um, I could definitely see Tio knocking Ryan clean out, but Tio has shown at times if you can box and turn him, you can beat him. Um, I thought Sandra Martin did a great job against Tio, like like boxing and turning him. So I, I feel like if Ryan ever if Ryan ever gets to a point where he can just settle down because he's he fights a lot, a lot of anxiety. He he fights as if he, he he ate a honey bun and washed it down with a Coca Cola and just has all this caffeine in his system and he can't seem to settle down and just throw punches with a nice steady flow and just and just relax and then pick his shots. If he can ever do that and learn to just you know, keep that nice solid base of boxing skills. He could beat a lot of guys with that with that range and that size and that quickness. But that's a big if. So, should I hope it happens? But um, yeah, I don't even, I, I don't even remember how I even started talking about Ryan and Teal. But uh, yeah, that 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 that's my that, that's my take on it.